Keep calm, don't worry. Here's how to locate missing files in Final Cut Pro effortlessly. Your files aren't gone forever. Final Cut just doesn't know where they are. I'll show you how to tell Final Cut where they are, including a tip to relink a bunch of missing files at once, saving you a ton of time. I'll also show you a cool trick for locating missing project files in just one click. And stay till the end to learn how to prevent that scary missing files error. Okay, before we find our missing files, let's find out where they're located at. In Final Cut Pro, you can select a clip, right click on it, and select Reveal in Finder, or press Shift Command R. It'll pop up a finder window and it will highlight your video file. If you're struggling finding your clip in the browser, just select it in the timeline, right click on it and select Reveal in Browser or press Shift F. In Final Cut Pro, you'll see here, we'll automatically select it, putting a yellow box around it. And now we can select Reveal in Finder. So if you change the file name, let's add missing file to this, or if you change the location, then Final Cut Pro is going to struggle. See, now we have a missing file here. Final Cut will also have trouble if we move files. So I'm gonna select these files and I'm gonna make a new folder of them and we'll just call it missing files, press enter. And then if we go back into Final Cut Pro, you'll see here in the timeline, we have some missing files and we also have some in our browser. Ah, dang it. So we can fix this though. Let's select our first one here and go up to file, relink files and select original media. This is the relink files window. We can select just relink missing files or all files. In this case, we just have one. We can select this file and locate the selected. We've got this finder window and Final Cut is looking for a suitable match. Right now it says it's not found in this folder. So I need to go to the folder it's in. Mine is in this library here. And so I have it bookmarked here, but I can go to the original media folder. And now it says, hey, we found a match. Click choose to verify. So I'll click choose and down here, I can see my original file and then the matched file. And you can see right here, it has that little where I wrote missing file on it. All right, that looks good. So I'll just click relink files. And now that file you can see is relinked and it works in our project. I can also relink a bunch of files at once. So I'll select the first one and then I'll hold down shift and select the ones in between. I'll hold down command to select these other guys here. And let's do these three up here as well. Then I'll go up to file, relink files, select original media. Now we have a list of them here. I'll keep all selected and I'll click on locate all. All right, so we need to navigate to the folder where I've moved them. They are in my downloads in this folder called missing files. And if I double click on that, it will open it. And you'll see that it's found 13 matches and I need to click choose to verify. But first I wanna select this one, 47, here it is. And now I'll select choose and Final Cut will automatically find all the other ones without me selecting it. Okay. Now I can select these down here and if I don't want them, I can hit delete to keep them from being relinked because you cannot undo a relink media files. But this looks good for me, so I will do all of them and I'll select relink files. And bam, you'll see in Final Cut, they're relinked back together and they work in the timeline and we see them in the browser. Oh, that's a sigh of relief to reconnect those files, isn't it? If I've helped you reconnect some files, will you please let me know with a thumbs up? In just a little bit, I'll show you how to prevent that error, but first, I wanna show you how to quickly find which files in your project are missing. All right, here's a quick way to find out which files are missing. Select your library, go up to File, New, Library Smart Collection, or press Option, Command, N. And it will create a smart collection that you'll see over here on the left-hand side. Press Enter to rename it. Let's call it Missing Files, and then double-click on it. Click on this plus right here and select media representation. Select original is missing. Select plus again and do media representation and select optimized is missing. Press plus and then media representation again and change it to proxy and is missing. Now this will show us any files, original, optimized or proxy that are missing. I don't have any optimized or proxy media so I'm just going to uncheck this for right now. And now when I press close and if we select that smart collection, you'll see all of these that are missing the original media. So now I can quickly select all of them and then go up to relink files. I can also quickly click and drag this smart collection to another library and it will show me all the missing files in this library. Luckily, this library isn't missing any. Okay, one way to prevent this from happening is to keep your project files in your library. So when you're importing, check this out. We'll press command I to import. And so when I'm importing my files, I'm going to select copy to library versus leave files in place. If I leave them in place, there's a chance I might rename them, move them, delete them, or do something with them. But when they're copied to the library, they're contained in that Final Cut Pro library, and it's a lot harder to get missing files that way. So if you already have a library made up and you have files everywhere, 
you can bring them together. So the first thing we need to do is relink these files. So I'll select my missing files and I'll go up to File, Relink, Original Media, Locate All, and I'll go find my folder where they are and I'll select this one to match, 47 right here, and I'll click Choose. These look good. This is a PNG file, not worried about that one, but these are all here, so I'll click Relink Files and they are relinked. Now, the only problem is, is they're still not in the library. They're in a folder in my downloads. And if I move or delete that folder or rename things, all sorts of problems can happen. So I wanna bring those into my library. I'll select my library. I'll go up to File and I'll select Consolidate Library Media. I'll make sure the destination is in library and then I'll press OK. I'll select Continue and Final Cut Pro will find those files and bring them into the library. So let's take a look. Here was a file that was outside my library. If I right click on it and select Reveal in Finder, you can see it's in here in the original media folder, which is a folder inside my Final Cut Pro library. Now my files are way more safe and I'm less likely to get that missing files error screen. All right, now that you've found your missing files, I put together seven tips to recover a lost Final Cut Pro project. Click here to check it out.